Well, good morning. It is Saturday, July 25th, and this is year two, week 30 of my YouTube vlog. But more importantly, this is the day of the Film Your Day, which is this documentary thing. I guess they did it 10 years ago, Ridley Scott and another filmmaker whose name eludes me right now. But I'll put a link down in the description here about what this is all about. But basically, it's, it's Film Your Day and so I'm sitting out here with my coffee um, and it's already getting <laughs> humid and, and hot here uh, in South Carolina. But one of the things that we wanted to do during all this COVID stuff, or one of the things that, that I have been doing is getting more interested in, as you've seen with my vlog, with the weight loss and then the walking and then the hiking and then the one backpacking trip that we've done. So we wanna do more backpacking and camping and stuff which has then got me into making fires and Dutch oven cooking and all that kind of stuff. So we bought a little eight inch Dutch oven from the original Lodge factory store in South Pittsburgh, Tennessee when we did our road trip. And that was amazing. And so one of the things that I wanted to do was I wanted to cook a cowboy breakfast something like that I think it's what mountain man mountain man Not me. I think it's called mountain man mountain man breakfast so that's what I'm gonna do this morning and yeah that's gonna start my day but we've got a bunch of other stuff planned for the day and a lot of stuff a lot of stuff going on so yeah so enjoy my day All right, so I'm gonna try to make this mountain man breakfast here for for Cindy and myself here using our new little eight inch Dutch oven. So just a disclaimer, the steaks are probably gonna be made. So let's get the charcoal going. First mistake, I don't have anything to start charcoal with. I'll bring it back. Oven, we've learned that we don't need that many charcoal kits. So, Alright, I'm gonna grab my coffee as I watch this thing smoke up. Alright, what well, things are coming along nicely in the cold, but it's good. See, we got our new tools. Got a new little carry case. I thought that was just amazing. So I had to buy it. And so, in here is Dutchie. So, like I said, we got this at the original Lodge factory store in South Pittsburgh, Tennessee. So we made a few little cobblers and stuff in it. 
She is seasoned and ready to go. Coals are looking good, so. Yeah. I think so. It rained a little last night, so. The fire pit looks a little, a little nasty. But looking good. Let me go get the stuff. All right, so coals look good. So now, I need to make a, just a little bed, get Dutchy preheating, and we'll get the sausage on. Like I said, it rained, so I got uh, got some wetness in here. All right, let's go ahead and do something with that. Maybe something like that, and move this over. This is pretty hilarious though that on this day <laughs> where I would be you know film your day out here in this hot humid South Carolina <laughs> I'm doing Dutch oven cooking but hey man they said film your day and this is what we had planned so all right so I'm gonna go ahead and put Dutchy right on there that Dutchy I got my tool I'm try my new... oh yeah Got my little stand right here. Oh, oh, hey, wait a minute now. All right. We're gonna have to figure this out with Dutchy. Dutchy's almost too small for the stain. All right, there we go. I'll leave those coals in there. We'll get Dutchy here heating up a little. All right, so let's go ahead and get our Jimmy Dean sausage here. Oh yeah, slice and dice. Hmm. I don't know if I need to use all that. Maybe half, huh? Yeah, we'll go with half. Okay, I'll put that over there. go looking good that Dutchy warm up cook up all right well yeah. we'll see all this water here I need to put some more charcoal in. <laughs> Maybe I should have preheated Dutchy. I think I'll put some more charcoal in because with that water, we might need it. So, okay. Because of all the moisture, I think, in our fire pit from the rain and all of the leftover coals and all that stuff, I think what I'm going to do is, because i got more coals, I think I'm actually going to put the lid on and put a few coals on the lid to help heat up Dutchy because she uh, seems to be struggling heating up here with just the, the coals underneath her. So. I want to get that sausage brown. That way we can put all the other good stuff in there. So, yep, let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and put the lid 
back on the dust. Then I'm gonna get my, my tongs here. And I'm just gonna put a few good looking coals. Because Dutchie's, just like I said, Dutchie's a little eight inch Dutch. Woo! Little eight inch Dutch oven. So she don't take much to heat up, but all that water is, is hindering the heat them up process. You see, this is the weirdest thing to <laughs> decide to <laughs> touch up and cook out here when it's already so hot and humid. So, all right, we'll let Dutchy heat up now. Let that sausage brown a little bit. We'll get on to the next step. Okay, so the sausage is, is looking pretty brown. So that's coming along. So we can take the lid off. And then we'll sit down here on the Dutchie stand. Okay, watch out so I don't burn myself. Might not be also best to do this bare feet, but I am in South Carolina after all. Um, so one of the other things though is I think what I'm gonna wanna do is I think I'm gonna leave the lid off here looking at the coals. I'm gonna take the, the coals from the lid here and go ahead and put those underneath because like I said I'm not getting a lot of heat because so much of the heat is going uh, to basically evaporate that water that's down here in the fire pit. So I'm gonna put some more those coals down there put Dutchie back on like I told you mistakes were gonna be made so we're gonna put Dutchie back on that way because when I add the veggies it's gonna have a lot of water I'm gonna want that to steam off and I'm not gonna want so that's why I'm gonna leave it open from now on I think Dutchie's got quite a bit of heat underneath there I did put more charcoal put more charcoal in there so but yeah I should have cleaned out and dried out the fire pit. Hmm. All right, so as you can see, I've taken out the charcoal chimney. Um, that way I just got a bed of coals here now, so that way I can move Dutchie around. And I've also got sizzle going on now. So I think Dutchie's finally getting hot but we've already got a pretty good brown here on on this but again what I want to do here next is I'm gonna put in some frozen veggies some peppers and onions and stuff and but I want to leave the lid off because I want that uh, moisture to boil off I don't want to trap it inside the Dutch oven so looking pretty good here so I put a few more coals underneath Dutchy so hopefully she will then go ahead and heat up here. And uh, so yeah, let's just play around and see what happens, huh? Let's put in some veggies. So, yeah, the veggies now are already steaming up, and they're frozen, so they got a lot of water. So we want to make sure that that steam can, can evaporate. All right, we'll let that cook for a bit. All right, so as you see, I've put Dutchie over here on the big bed of coals. Got good sizzle going on. I think that's a good sign. Everything's looking good. Onions are getting a, a little translucent, so I think we're we're good. So I'm gonna add now some some, some potatoes.
kind of put, I think, a layer. I don't really know. I'm going to go with that. Because I'm the cook. I can do what I want. <laughs> go ahead and mix it up. I think. Mm -hmm. Because those are frozen, they got moisture in them too, so I'm gonna leave old Dutchie open still. I think once get the moisture out, I mean the taters are cooked and stuff like that, then what probably will do is I'll put some cheese on, cover that up, let cheese melt, then put the eggs in, cook the eggs, and I think we'll be ready. Cool. All right, so looking pretty good. I'm gonna put some cheese on, let that melt up, and then put the eggs in, and then, uh, yeah, I think we'll be done. So, uh, yeah, there we go. All I'm gonna do is I'm just going to take the block of cheese here. Go ahead and just get some cheese right on there. There we go. Get cheese on there. Let that melt up. Won't take too long. Let's go put the lid on. Let that melt up. And then we'll put the eggs on. All right, so in the kitchen, I've already whipped up the eggs. Cheese is all melt. Here we go. Pour it on in. Let that cook up. All right. See you when the eggs are done. All right, well, Aunt Cindy is up here. Let's go ahead and check on this. It looks pretty good, I think. Like I said, mistakes will be. <laughs> looks pretty good, I think. Oh yeah, that's good and done. There's some steam in there, but we'll take it in. So I'll see you in the kitchen. All right, everybody, we are in the kitchen now. We brought Dutchie in. Man, it looks so good, but that's just what it looks like from here. I don't, like I said, don't know what all the goodness is underneath how it looks, but, but the chef of the house, Aunt Cindy, says that it looks good. So, all right, well, I think what we're gonna need to do is just get some bowls and stuff cut into it and try it so we'll see you on the service oh yeah so here we go oh yeah mmm oh it's like an American pie whoa yeah it looks good don't it Cindy yes Like I said, I had my main problem was heat in the beginning with the old, with the, the sausage. It didn't really brown up. Looks like it kind of came out to be like mush. So, oh, I'll take this one. See what I'm saying? It looks delicious. Okay. Yeah. Like I said, I had a seemed like I had a, a heat problem out there. All right, huh? Okay. <sighs> All that work and just destroyed it. All right. Well, that was my 
<laughs> start of my Saturday, July 25th, and film my day here uh, doing that Dutch oven mountain man breakfast. And here it is, doctored up, seasoned it because I forgot to season it at all. So it needed some salt and pepper, and then added picante sauce on it. And it's really, really good. So just need to get uh, the fire pit cleaned up and that way so much of the coals isn't going to just you know evaporating that water that was in the fire pit. But other than that, it was a lot of fun. Like I said, it's a hot human morning out here. And it's so funny that of all the things I've done on my vlog, <laughs> and then on the film your day here, I start by doing Dutch oven cooking. <laughs> so, all right, well, I'll see you later in the day. Bye. Yummy, yummy, in my tummy. All right, so one of the other things that I'm doing today is while we're at the Lodge Factory store up in Charlotte, North Carolina, that's where we got all the new little tools, and that's why I wanted to do the uh, Dutch oven cooking this morning. But one of the other things that we got is also a uh, pie iron right down there. So, so I'm seasoning it, which I think to season it, you I think the instructions were basically you put it in the fire so I'm using the old colds here from using Dutchie and then you heat it up melt off the the wax and stuff that's on there right now and then what you do is then you put some uh, vegetable oil on it and then I think cook it some more and clean it up and so on and so that's what I'm also doing today so cast iron morning well after doing the Dutch oven cooking this morning and stuff and then decided just to come up here and play some Minecraft on my xbox one with one of my no my oldest known no that's not a good way to say it not oldest yeah, it might be the oldest too i'm not really sure but uh my longest known xbox friend danger ranger so hello danger ranger uh, so yeah we're just playing some minecraft here this afternoon got some errands to run which i'll take you along for also and yeah then we'll see what the afternoon brings so i'll see you later in the day bye all right so it's later in the day and so now what we're doing is we're actually at kfc and this is step one of a two-step little thing i want to do for one of my best friends because her father has died and so never got to meet her dad but the story was that if I ever didn't meet her dad, I had to go bring him a bottle of Jim Bean. And I really can't remember the story, but fucking Kentucky Fried Chicken. Or Kentucky Fucking Fried Chicken. I think is what it is. Yes, Kentucky Fucking Fried Chicken. So we're at Kentucky Fucking Fried Chicken to get some Kentucky Fucking Fried Chicken. So that's what we're doing. And uh, so yeah, next stop uh, will be Jim Bean. So see you in a bit. Oh yeah. Give me the chicken. Give me the chicken. No. All right, well, we're back from our little excursion to do a little uh, memorial 
to my uh, best friend's father who died. So we went out, we got the Jim Bean, and you saw we got the the bucket of Kentucky fucking fried chicken. And uh, so yeah, so I'm gonna compose a, a photo here and post it on Facebook for her. So, but yeah, that's uh, that's another thing that we did today here on our film my day so yep all right well let me work on the photo and see you later today bye three two one the airplane is like unmarked it must be a cargo Coronavirus plane. Coronavirus plane. Well, we're already back in the truck with a planned late lunch, early dinner. Lunner. Lunner, as Aunt Cindy just said, Lunner, with mom. So we are heading over to our local Vietnamese restaurant because mom wanted their summer rolls. So we are heading over there to get summer rolls and head over to our apartment. So. Yeah, we'll probably see you then in her apartment. And you can watch us eat. <laughs> All right, see you later. Bye. Hey, everybody. Yeah, Hi. we're over here with uh, Mom, but it's not coffee with Mom. It's now summer rolls with Mom and Cindy and Maggie, who you saw at KFC today, and then me. So... All right, well, we're gonna enjoy this and we'll see you later, bye.